Today we're going to talk about symmetry. Symmetry might be a topic that you're already familiar with. We're just going to solidify a few vocabulary terms and introduce a new type of symmetry to your repertoire today. Now symmetry, most of you already know this, is when an object has one side that's a mirror image of the other. Kind of like a butterfly, one, wi one wing of a butterfly is a mirror image of the other. Same wing, just in reverse. So a butterfly is symmetrical. So in symmetry, we, knew, we need to include not only shape, but color, size, and everything else under the sun. So if one side is not a perfect mirror image of the other, then it is not considered symmetrical. This is how it ties in to our transformations that we've been doing. You can say that one side has been reflected to create the other side. Now, it might not be on an axis, but somewhere in the shape, there's a reflection line called a line of symmetry. Line of symmetry is the important vocabulary term for today. And it's the imaginary dividing line between the two reflected sides. So we're going to try to draw in some lines of symmetry. This certainly won't be perfect. So, you know, give me a break here. But we, you can see that this line where this object has a line of symmetry straight down the middle. If I folded this object on this line, the two sides would match up perfectly. This is a line of symmetry. One side is a mirror image of the other. In this object, I still have a line of symmetry, but now my line of symmetry is going to go, if I can get this to draw, it's going to go horizontally so that the top half is a mirror image of the bottom half or vice versa. How many lines of symmetry does this object have? You have to be a little bit careful. I can draw in if we can get this in place anyway, I can draw in a vertical line of symmetry. Let's get rid of this one. I can draw in a vertical line of symmetry. The left is a mirror Im image of the right. But what happens when I try to draw in a horizontal line of symmetry? Do you see how this little line is dashed and the line below is solid? That means that those are not symmetrical. The top would not be a mirror image of the bottom just because of those little dashes. It does make a difference. We have to consider everything. So this has one line of symmetry. How about this flag? Are there any lines of symmetry? If I try to draw a vertical line, the front of the horse would not be symmetrical with the back of the horse. The top half is a different color than the bottom half of the flag, so it's not symmetrical that way. And I can't even go diagonally because no rectangle is going to be um, is going to be symmetrical diagonally. So this has no lines of symmetry. How about our flag? Any lines of symmetry? No, there's nowhere on this flag that's a mirror image of another part of the flag. So no lines of symmetry. How about on just a regular old rectangle? It's solid. So color is not an issue for us. I know that I can draw, well, pretend like that's a straight line anyway. I can have a vertical line of symmetry. I can have a horizontal line of symmetry. 
Can I go diagonally on a rectangle? No, I can't. So this would have two lines of symmetry. How about a triangle? Now I'm going to show you this triangle from different angles. Hopefully from just saying that, you can see that we're going to have some lines of symmetry in here. I can draw lines of symmetry going through the vertex, if I can get this to draw, through the opposite side. I'm also going to have a line of symmetry this direction, and I'm going to have a line of symmetry this direction. This triangle is going to have three lines of symmetry where one side is a mirror image of the other. Now this one at first glance might look like it has a line of symmetry, but let me show you what it looks like if I turn this triangle. Do you see how one side is longer than the other? So does this triangle, do you think it has any lines of symmetry? The answer is no, there's no lines of symmetry here. How about a star? I can draw a line of symmetry here and a line of symmetry here. In fact, I can draw a line of symmetry through each point, oops, pretend like they're straight, on the star. So how many that one's really bad. Let's try that one again. How many lines of symmetry does this star have? If they were straight, anyway. We have five lines of symmetry just for this one star. Turns out that there's two different types of symmetry. There's reflectional symmetry and rotational symmetry. You have been working with reflectional symmetry, where one side is a reflection of the other. My smiley face here has reflectional symmetry. But now, you want to discover rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry is when I can rotate a shape and have it look exactly like it did before, before I've gotten all the way around to where I started. So for instance, with this shape, if I turn this shape 90 degrees, it looks exactly like it did before. I can turn it again and again, it looks exactly like it did before, and even again I can until I'm finally back around to where I started. This shape has rotational symmetry. Now just a side note, the angle I have to rotate before it looks like itself again is called the angle of rotation. So this particular figure, I had to turn it 90 degrees, then I could turn it 180 degrees, I could also turn it 270 degrees. All three of those would give me a shape that looks exactly like it does now. So I can say that this has 90 degree, 180 degree, and 270 degree rotational symmetry. There is no such thing as 360 degree rotational symmetry or else everything would be rotationally symmetrical even you would be rotationally symmetrical if there was 360 degree, degree rotational symmetry. So which of these shapes has rotational symmetry? How about this arrow? Can I turn it around and have it look exactly like it does now before this point gets back to where I started? No, that one has no rotational symmetry. How about this triangle? You bet, if I can rotate it so that this top point gets down to here, right, then it would be symmetrical. So yes, this object has rotational symmetry. 
by the way, angle of rotation would be 120 degrees because that's a third of a full 360 degree circle. How about the oval? Yes, this would have rotational symmetry because I could turn it upside down and it would look exactly like it does now. And finally, the diamond. Yes, this would have rotational symmetry. If I turn that even 90 degrees, right, then it would be back to where it started. Or it would look like it did before we started. Some shapes can have both kinds of symmetry. This star has reflectional symmetry through each point. It also has rotational symmetry as soon as I turn this top point to this point over here. This object, technically, that's a hexagon, um, also has both symmetries. It can have reflectional symmetry. It can also have rotational symmetry. All of the objects on this page have both types of symmetry. There are shapes out there that have no symmetry whatsoever. Here's a few examples. These don't have one side that's a reflection of another and you can't rotate them anything less than 360 degrees and have them be identical to the way they are now. These objects have no symmetry. Write down any questions you have so you can come and ask me. Your assignment is the symmetry worksheet. Make sure that you give me all the different kinds of symmetry, whether it has reflectional or rotational or both, and draw in all the lines of symmetry. Have fun with it and good luck.